In a paper processing line, huge rollers spin at speed. Then one breaks loose and is suddenly ejected from the machine envelope. Never ever run high energy rotating machinery without secured components, verified balance, and hard separation from people. If bolts loosen, bearings fail, or the roll goes out of balance, vibration grows, and forces shift. When a mount lets go, rotation turns into uncontrolled linear motion, sending the cylinder along the easiest exit path. Open platforms and guard gaps let it leave the machine envelope before shutdown can react. Lock and verify fasteners, inspect vibration, use rated guards and exclusion lines, and treat rotating mass like an uncontrolled high-energy material. Every startup, every shift, always today. A skid steer creeps along an excavation edge with its bucket raised and external weight resting on the cab, pushing the machine toward instability. Never, ever allow riders on mobile equipment and never move a machine with anyone outside the cab holding on. Skid steers are balanced for one seated operator. Weight outside the frame shifts the center of gravity sideways, boosting tip leverage on uneven ground. That off-center load also stresses the lip where soil can shear suddenly. If support drops, the machine rotates as one mass, but the rider has no stance or restraint, so any mass outside the cab has no restraint and moves unpredictably as the machine rotates. Doors and steps are access points, not platforms. Operator in, everyone else out, especially at edges. Multiple workers crowd a live power structure, ladders stacked, access zones overlapping, when one small contact suddenly completes the circuit. Never, ever allow uncontrolled contact between conductors, tools, structures, or people when working near energized electrical systems. One unintended connection is enough to activate the entire hazard. This incident is triggered by circuit completion. With multiple workers on metal ladders and a steel power structure, everything on that frame becomes part of a potential conductive network. When the wire is placed onto a conductive point, the circuit closes and current immediately spreads through the lowest resistance paths, often the structure, tools, and any connected conductive elements. Because multiple access points are simultaneously connected to the same conductive system, the hazard doesn't stay local, the structure effectively becomes energized, and exposure can occur across multiple contact points at once. Electricity doesn't need force, it needs a path. Control every conductor, isolate energy before contact, and remember, when one connection closes the circuit, the entire structure comes alive. A worker walks up to the rear of a parked trailer in a tight yard, then a nearby truck that isn't properly secured begins to roll forward. Never, ever allow pedestrians behind or between trailers unless all nearby vehicles are fully secured against movement and the area is controlled. This is a runaway roll and pinch point hazard. A parked truck that isn't properly secured can start moving from a slight slope, vibration, or brake parking failure. Once it rolls, its mass creates momentum that's hard to stop quickly. With the worker positioned at the rear of a trailer, the space becomes a fixed wall on one side and a moving wall on the other, so the gap can close in seconds with little warning and limited escape routes. If a vehicle isn't secured, it isn't parked. Chalk, set brakes, verify neutral parking systems, and keep pedestrians out of trailer rear zones unless movement is physically prevented. Inside a closed workshop, rows of gas cylinders stand along the wall when pressure suddenly releases and the room fills with uncontrolled force. Never ever store compressed gas cylinders inside enclosed workspaces without dedicated ventilation, separation, and pressure control safeguards. This hazard is driven by stored energy and confinement. Compressed gas cylinders contain enormous potential energy. Even without flames, a sudden valve failure, regulator damage, or uncontrolled release can rapidly discharge that energy into the surrounding space. When this happens indoors, the gas has nowhere to dissipate safely. In an enclosed room, pressure builds faster than it can escape. Expanding gas displaces air, propels loose objects, and generates shock forces that can damage structures and equipment. Cylinders standing upright and close together amplify the risk, 
One failure can destabilize adjacent cylinders, creating a cascading release. Ventilation is critical because it limits pressure accumulation and prevents gas concentration. Without it, the room itself becomes part of the hazard, turning stored energy into a violent internal event rather than a controlled release. Compressed gas doesn't become dangerous when it ignites. It becomes dangerous when it's confined. Store cylinders outside, secure them properly, ventilate relentlessly, and remember, pressure always looks for space. Before our next clip, tell me what industry you work in the comments and hit like and subscribe to support the channel. A firefighter works from a ladder while a charged hose line suddenly surges, sending force straight through the setup. Never ever operate a charged hose from a ladder without controlling nozzle reaction forces and securing the ladder against lateral movement. This incident is driven by nozzle reaction and loss of balance. When water flow increases or pressure changes, the hose produces a sudden reaction force in the opposite direction. On stable ground, that force can be absorbed through stance and body positioning. On a ladder, there is no lateral stability to counter it. Ladders don't forgive sudden forces. Control hose pressure, secure ladders, and remember, if water can push back, it can push you off balance just as fast. A quiet industrial parking lot sits beside a large water tank until the tank wall suddenly gives way and a wave of stored water surges outward. Never ever rely on aging or corroded storage tanks without routine inspection, pressure assessment, and structural maintenance. This incident is driven by corrosion, rupture, and sudden release of stored water energy. As tank walls weaken, they can fail without warning. When a section gives way, it doesn't leak. It opens rapidly, and gravity plus internal pressure turn the stored volume into a fast-moving surge. The water exits all at once, behaving like a localized high-velocity flood, pushing debris and flowing wherever the ground channels it. The danger isn't depth, it's momentum. Even shallow, high-speed water can shove objects and destabilize anything in its path. Water doesn't need fire or pressure to become dangerous, only volume and neglect. Inspect tanks, manage corrosion, and remember, when containment fails, stored energy moves all at once. A car sits raised inside a busy workshop until its balance shifts and the vehicle drops straight down without warning. Never, ever work beneath or beside a raised vehicle unless it is correctly positioned, mechanically secured, and independently supported. This incident is driven by center of gravity shift and loss of support. Vehicle lifts rely on precise contact points to keep the car's center of gravity within the lift's stability envelope. If the arms are misaligned, unevenly loaded, or not fully locked, even a small movement, tool force, part removal, or vibration can shift the balance outside that envelope. Once the center of mass moves beyond the lift's support footprint, gravity takes over instantly. The lift provides no corrective force. It simply becomes a pivot point. The vehicle then rotates and drops under its own weight, accelerating faster than anyone nearby can react. Hydraulic systems hold position only while geometry is correct. When alignment fails, the loss of stability is sudden, not gradual. Lifts don't fail slowly. They fail decisively. Verify lift points, lock supports, add secondary stands, and remember, if gravity finds an edge, it will use it immediately. A walk-behind tractor is guided down narrow ramps from a truck bed, with workers positioned around the machine to try to keep it stable until gravity starts deciding the outcome. Never, ever load or unload heavy equipment on ramps without mechanical restraint, proper ramp alignment, and a clear exclusion zone for people. As the machine moves onto the ramps, its center of gravity rises and shifts backward. The narrow ramp width leaves almost no margin for lateral correction, and traction is limited by loose gravel and ramp surface conditions. With workers riding the machine, control depends entirely on friction and balance. Once traction slips or torque fluctuates, gravity accelerates the machine downhill faster than human reaction time. The ramps provide no side containment, so even a small misalignment can turn forward motion into sideways or backward movement. Because there is no winch, tether, or braking restraint, the machine's mass is free to move once balance is lost. At that point, human effort cannot counter the momentum. 
Ramps are not control systems. Secure the load mechanically, keep people out of the movement path, and remember, when gravity takes over, there's no second chance to grab control. At a nighttime excavation site, an excavator swings its bucket toward a work area, just as a worker steps onto a stairway beside the machine. Never, ever allow pedestrians to enter an excavator's operating or swing zone without direct communication, confirmation from the operator, and physical separation. This hazard is driven by bucket swing arc, blind spots, and timing overlap. As the excavator rotates, the bucket travels in a fixed path that can extend beyond the tracks. Stairways and railings often sit in partial blind zones, made worse by low light and glare. Once the swing starts, momentum and hydraulic response limits mean it can't stop instantly. If a pedestrian steps onto the stairs at the same moment, they can enter the bucket's travel path before the operator can detect and react, leaving no buffer space between moving equipment and fixed access points. Buckets don't yield and stairways don't protect. Control access near heavy equipment, enforce swing radius exclusion zones, and ensure pedestrians never enter machine paths without clear, confirmed coordination. Don't forget to share what you learned today in the comments. Your insight could save a life. Take care.